so I have ombre hair. If you don't know what ombre hair is, it is where blonde bleach or blonde hair dye is applied to the lower lengths of your hair. Let me stand for you so you can see. Oh, falling is applied to the lower ends of your hair to make it gradually look lighter, I guess. I personally like it because I think it gives my hair a bit more texture and it's just a bit more interesting, really. So the purpose of this video is to let you guys know what products I use, what styling products I use and how I care for my ombre hair. Ombre is essentially bleach and bleach is bad for your hair. No matter what anyone says, you are putting peroxide, which is a chemical, on your hair and stripping it of its natural colour. I got my ombre done in a salon. Um, I previously had ombre hair, which I did do myself using a box dye, and I will leave information on how I did that and which dye I used in the description box. So if you were thinking of doing that too, then you can go and give that a read. But um, at the moment, the ombre that I have was done by a salon. Um, I think they used three different types of dye. I think one was peroxide. I'm not too sure what the other two were. Once you have dyed your hair, whether you've got ombre, whether you've got highlights, whether you've gone all over blonde, it's really, really important for you to use the right products aimed or targeted at coloured hair. So without further ado, I will show you some of the things that I use. Shampoo wise, I actually use three different types. Now, I don't know if this is normal procedure, um, but I have favourites and I like to alternate between all of them because, I mean, why not? But the first that I really, really love, which I've been using for years, literally since I was 16, is the TGS Factor range. These ones in particular are smoothing shampoo for shining and rehydrating your hair. Um, basically, these are amazing. Um, I even own them in salon size, which I bought from Feel Unique. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, because I just want them to last me ages. <laughs> they smell like strawberries and cream, um, so you always find yourself like sniffing your hair. Um, but I just find that this shampoo and conditioner leaves my hair feeling really, really silky. Um, Any time that I use this to wash my hair, I'm always just like, ah, oh, sleek. Another shampoo and conditioner that I really, really like using, um, which is also dripping wet because I've just got out of my showers, so I'm literally just getting my lap soaked, are the Tony and Guy Cleanse Shampoo and Conditioner, and um, these are specifically targeted for blonde hair. Um, I know that only the lower half of my hair is blonde, but I still find that this um, kind of helps the blonde, I mean, I don't need anything to help the natural brown of my hair so I'd rather buy shampoos targeted for blonde hair or dyed blonde hair so yeah I really really like that as well. Another thing which I kind of class as like a vital kind of step in keeping ombre nice is using a purple shampoo. Before I re my hair this time, I never used a purple shampoo or conditioner because I didn't realise that you could use a purple shampoo or conditioner. I'd heard that purple is good for toning the hair colour and taking out the brassy colours, um, but I'd never thought there would be anything available on the high street. So then I found the Lee Stafford Beach Blondes Shampoo Pro Blonde Complex for bleached or partly bleached highlights or bleached hair. Knocks out brassy canary yellow tones and I've also got the conditioner as well and it says that you should only really use this once a week, um, which I suppose I do actually, I don't really use it all that much. When I first got it I was using it probably twice, I was using it every time I wash my hair, which is probably not too great. Um, but when I do use this, I honestly notice such a massive difference in my hair. So I do think that this really, really helps. And also I know that there are so many other brands that do something very, very similar for like really cheap. So if you do have highlights or ombre, then I would definitely advise getting something that's purple. And it literally is this colour. It looks so scary when you're washing your hair in the shower and all this just like drips down. You're just like, whoa. And they smell really nice too, like all Lee Stafford hair products. I'm not a massive fan of hair masks. I'm actually quite lazy when it comes to doing my hair because I have so much of it, as you can see. I get kind of bored and it all becomes a bit kind of... 
it becomes a bit of a chore doing my hair and it takes years to dry and it takes years to wash and it takes years to brush before washing and everything just takes twice as long having twice as long hair. So as much as you look at, might look at me and think, oh I wish I had long hair, it's not as straightforward as it may seem. Um, but in terms of hair masks, um, if I find something that I really really love then I will take the extra time to do this like once a week. And it is S Factor again, surprise surprise. I just love this brand so much. I've literally, this is the only hair care brand that I can honestly say I've used the longest. Like since I was 16, that's, you know, a long time. Six years, six years I've been using this brand, uh, which says a lot and I keep repurchasing it too. So it obviously works. This is called the Serious Conditioner. Look how cute the pot is for a start. It has a handle. This will literally last you absolutely ages. Look at it. it. Smells like strawberries and cream. It's got sunflower seed oil, which is supposed to be really beneficial for the hair. Um, and yeah, I just put this in after I've shampooed, leave it on for three to five minutes, wash it out, and my hair feels amazing. And I literally love it. Nice little indulgence for my hairs on my head. For blow drying, I will normally wrap my hair up in a turby towel. If you don't know what a turby towel is, it's a amazing invention, which is basically a tiny thing which you like twist onto your hair and it like kind of clips back and pops onto a little button. It's brilliant. You can buy them in Poundland, so go have a look for those. After I've done that, I put in my S Factor um, Smoothing Lusterizer, which is a defrizzer and tamer. So I run that through towel dried hair, just through the ends. I don't concentrate this on the top because I kind of feel like that might make my hair greasy. Yeah, this actually has teeny tiny, teeny tiny shimmers in it which you can notice on a sunny day and when you look in your hands after you've applied it through the bottoms um, which makes your hair look ultra shiny like in photos or in the sunlight it just reflects shine so if you have an issue where your hair looks kind of dull um, do get this because it really is a miracle worker and it also leaves your hair feeling super super soft before I apply any heat on my hair, which is very rarely, um, sometimes I'll curl it with straighteners, uh, sometimes I will straighten it with straighteners, uh, sometimes I'll use curling tongs, although that is very rare because I am rubbish at using them, I get really cat handed and get everything mixed up, so that doesn't happen very often. When I do use um, styling tools, I will use a heat defence spray and the one I use is by Lee Stafford and it is Argan Oil from Morocco uh, Miracle Heat Defence Spray, heat protectant care for the smoothest, silkiest, healthiest hair yeah this is really nice, it smells nice um, I don't ever really notice too much from heat defence as long as it's doing the job and you're not adding any extra damage to the ends of your hair then that's a plus one thing I will say is if you're quite lazy with heat defence sprays because I was one of these people you can't be lazy with heat defence spray if you have ombre hair because your hair's already damaged. Please don't make it worse. Spray something on it. Protect it as much as you can, otherwise you'll find that your hair breaks a lot more and it can become very, very thin on the ends and that's the last thing you want. As some of you will be aware, I like to wear my hair kind of messy, like this. Kind of scrunchy, kind of just, kind of beachy, I don't really know the term. Just like this. And to do that I use salt sprays, sea salt spray. This one here, which I've just used, um, is the Tony and Guy Casual Sea Salt Texturising Spray for texture and body. I bought a small one of these because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I do like it and I will be repurchasing the big one. It's just nice to add texture to your hair. You can spray this when your hair is wet and then dry it and keep scrunching or I tend to just put it in dry hair and scrunch and then use a bit of hairspray to seal it all in place. The other one that I really like is the TG Catwalk Session Series Salt Spray, which again is really, really nice, does the job really well, and I really like it. Okay, so that is everything that I use on my hair that I can think of that would help you in some way or aid you in looking after your ombre hair, or even if you're just interested to know what shampoos I use, or yeah. I don't know, it was just quite a highly requested video, so I thought I would do that for you. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye! Oh, hey! Hello. Um, hair in the eye, hair in the eye. Please, ta-ta,